What is going on fellow developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be learning how to create a CSS only, yes, CSS only pop-up. Now as you can see on the right here we have these two pop-up buttons. These are two separate pop-ups so if I select the first one you can see we've got pop-up one, lorem ipsum text and then a little close pop-up which closes the pop-up. We've also got pop-up two. Now these are created with only CSS and most people would be like what? No that's a lie. You can't do click offence with CSS only. Well you're right you need HTML but we won't talk about that. Um, but in, in the CSS um, it's as simple as using a target selector. So Without further ado guys, let me show you how it's done. Okay guys, so I have uh, I have basically opened a new directory in my terminal and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a new one. I'm just going to call it uh, CSS pop-up YouTube. I'm going to hit enter, I'm going to cd into CSS pop-up YouTube. And then I'm going to run code dot to open it up in Visual Studio Code. Now you can open it up in whatever uh, text editor, IDE, whatever you want to open it up in. That's totally up to you. I just use VS Code because I prefer it. So let's hit enter. And there you go. We've now got an empty directory opened up within VS Code. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create an index.html file. So if we go here and we say index.html. Um, we can just simply do a exclamation mark tab if you're using Emmet. If you're not using Emmet, then you can just pause video, copy this all out, and then we can crack on. So let's move on to this bit. We're just going to say CSS pop-up. Um, and then in here, we're going to say link. And we're going to link it to a CSS fold file inside of .css main. Um, we don't currently have that folder available to us, but we will create it in a moment. So let's do that. Let's do that and there we go. So let's open up a CSS, let's create a new CSS file. So we're going to say CSS and in here we're going to say main.css and there you go. We now have a plain CSS file. Now inside of our body, what we're going to do is we're going to create a main tag just to house everything. We're then going to have a section inside of there which will be like our section of the page where we keep our stuff. Um, and then I'm going to have a h1 which just says my CSS, oh, not in capitals please, my CSS pop-up. Save that and as you, oh, <laughs> we're not actually seeing anything on the right. Now I forgot to mention I am using something called Live Surfer. So if I search here, Live Surfer, maybe the hyphen was not needed. <laughs> um, and as you can see here, I'm using Live Surfer by Ritwick Day. Um, and it basically just allows me to start a surfer by going into my file structure, right clicking index, uh, oh, right click an index and clicking open with live surfer. Now this is going to open a new file and there you go. You can see we have this here. Now let's see if our CSS is working. To test that let's go into main and let's just add a simple margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box, oh we forgot to put a space under that one, and then a font family of fire sans, sans, Serif, hit save, and there you go. You can see the CSS is instantly updated on the right side here. Perfect. So let's just close our CSS file again, and let's start by creating some more elements. So we need to create our pop-up buttons. Now, a pop-up button is going to use a href. Now, this how we're going to target. This how we're going to target the button with the um, actual pop-up. We're going to use a href that uses a hashtag or number sign dollar whatever you call this. Um, and it's going to say pop up, and we're going to call this one pop up one. We're going to give this a class of button, and then inside of here, we're just going to say open pop up one. Hit save. Now, let's just remove this part of this. Just do that. Now, if we click open pop up one, you can see it just it puts this in the um, URL bar. And now this is what's going to target our pop up. So we need to, this is basically searching for a element with the ID of hashtag pop-up one. Um, so let's create a little uh, pop-up here. So let's do a dot pop-up underneath our main because this is going to be a fixed element so it's just going to sit on top of everything. So we'll say pop-up um, and then we're going to give it the ID which we want to be targeted. So we're going to say pop-up one just like we have here but without the um, hashtag um, or <laughs> A hashtag or a number sign. I don't know what people call it. Tell me what you guys call it in the comments below. I have no idea what anyone calls it. Uh, pop up inner. And then inside here we're going to have a H3 which says pop up one. 
Then we're going to have a paragraph, and I'm just going to put some lorem ipsum in here, about 30 picks. Per, <laughs> 30 should be enough. And finally, we're going to have an, another anchor tag of the class of button. And this is just going to be a href of a single hashtag. So just one of these, because this will be what we've reset. So this is going to target this pop up here. And then, so let's just put in here close pop up. There we go. So now we have this close pop up button. So you can see it's now no longer there. And when we click it, open pop up, we get the new open pop up there. Cool. So let's go in our CSS and make this pop up actually pop up. So let's create a pop up and just display it as none. There you go. So you can see it's gone. Now let's just do pop up and use the target. So what this says is if it's a target, which is this, this is the target here, what we're targeting, um, then we can do something else. So for now, we're just going to say display block hit save. So let's go to, let's just close pop up. And as you see, if we click open pop up, it opens this. We click close, it closes it. See, that is how awesome this is. So let's actually style this up to look good so it's not just uh, boring. So in pop up, we're just going to go opacity, uh, zero, pointer, offense, none. Because we don't want it to be clickable or anything here, because else we'll be able to click it and click the close button all the time and stuff like that, uh, which isn't useful. Um, let's give it a transition of zero. 0.4 seconds because we're going to need to transition and now let's set up to position fix we want to go from top zero left zero right zero and bottom zero these are all just we're saying we want to start from the top the left the right and the bottom so it's just going to stretch the whole page we give it a set index of 99 because we want it to be over everything and we want to give a background color of rgba zero 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 point two to give it a 20% opacity. Now if we click open pop up, oh wait, we forgot to do it in the target here. We want to say opacity one and pointer offense um, all. Hit save and there you go. You can see it's now overlaying. Um, it doesn't look too great, but it's now overlaying, which is good with a little um, background. We're then going to display this as flex. Um, we're going to justify content center and we're going to align item center as well. Um, to bring it to the middle and then we're going to give it a padding of 16 pixels and then from here we're just going to say pop up inner we're going to set to uh, background color of white scroll up a little let's also close this side and zoom in one for this um, so yeah we've got a background color of white and um, we're going to give it a padding of 32 pixels 16 pixels um, a max width so when we stretch out our screen size it doesn't go all the way across we're going to say of 768 um, a border radius of 16 pixels and a box shadow just to make it look like it's lifted off the page a little bit we're going to give it a 0 6 12 rgba uh, the same as the last one there we go so now if we open pop up you can see we get this nice little pop up and if we close it there you go so it's getting there let's just style up the uh, rest of this as well so let's go up here um, let's just go to our main uh, let's just display this as flex well we could just do text align center and that should just center it all and you know what I'm not gonna mar um, we'll give it a margin top of like uh, 100 pixels there we go just so it's not center um, and let's style our buttons quickly so let's go dot button let's give that a uh, display of inline block um, let's give that a padding of uh, 12 pixels, 16 pixels, um, a background color of like B7, I'm looking for a purple, 41E, -E, there we go, that's the purple I wanted, a color of white, and let's also give it a text decoration of none, a margin of 0 pixels, 8 pixels, a text transform of uppercase, and a border radius of eight pixels and there you go there's our pop-up looking good let's also give it a font weight of 700 to make it bold there we go looking a lot better now so that's our button done uh, i think we'll give the h1 just a margin bottom margin bottom 16 pixels and uh text transform uppercase there we go looking better looking better it's looking better <laughs> now and finally let's go to our h3 Let's do pop up inner inner h3 
color, let's just do a 666, a font size 24, Ooh, that's not right, 24 pixels, and a margin bottom of 16 pixels, and then dot pop up in a paragraph, we're going to do a color of 888, this time to make it lighter, uh, please remove that L, um, a font size of 18 pixels, if I can actually type, and then we're going to need a line height of 1.5, now this is just going to space it out, um, and a margin bottom of 16 pixels. There we go, that's all the style I'm going to do for this. So, as you can see, it's looking a lot better. As you do a pop-up, you can see the pop-up gets focused on, and we can see that it looks really nice. But once if you want more from one pop-up. So, what all we would have to do is create a second pop-up, another anchor tag, and call this pop-up 2, and we also want to change the anchor tag to 2. Now we've got pop-up 2. So if we click this, you can see it will say hashtag pop-up 2, but the pop-up won't display. That's because we don't have one with the correct ID. So if we copy this and paste a second one, call it pop-up 2, delete 2, save, and there you go. You can see on the right we now have pop-up 2 open. So we've got pop-up 1 and pop-up 2. Now you can add as many of these as you like and it will always work the same way. Let's just move this center, let's just stretch it out. Uh, and there you go, if we open pop-up 2, we've got pop-up 2, pop-up 1, you've got pop-up 1. And that is as easy as this comes. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. It's been a quick one, but it's been a fun one. So it's a good, useful little tick, target selector. And let's just do um, CSS target, um, target selector. Um, there you go, this one, and oh, that's not what I wanted, I wanted CSS can I use. And I'll show you the support for this, that, again, that's not the right one. Where is it, can I use this one here? CSS selector target, if we select this, you can see it works on all major browsers. Now, I'm not sure what that means, support unknown, there you go. So, you can see it works on all major browsers, It doesn't. the only one it doesn't work on is IE6 and 8 target within that's a cool one but no that's fine so there you go so you can see it works across all of these so it is still you it can be used on any browser with uh, proper support as well so there you go guys so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you want to see more then don't forget to smash that subscribe button and if you have any questions or any uh, tips or tricks or you want to just correct me on anything i've done then don't forget to leave in the comments below now leave hashtag pop -up gang in the comments down below and I will know that you have watched all the way to the end guys. Um, thank you all for watching this video. If you want to support the channel you can head over to the Ko-Fi link down below. Donate as much as a coffee or even just go follow me on Ko-Fi and then you and then that way you're supporting me and I can um, produce more videos, better content, better quality and use that money to buy more um, assets like green screens, uh, a studio and different things like that to allow me to record more and better quality videos. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.